Joining us right now, Kevin Jackson. He's the author of the new book, Race Pimping, the Multi-Trillion Dollar Business of Liberalism. He's also the executive director of The Black Sphere. You can find it over at theblacksphere.net. He's out of St. Louis, Missouri, and he joins us right now. Hey, Kevin, how are you this morning? Good to talk to you, Larry. So we have an arrest. A uh, guy, uh, the police believe, is the guy who shot those two cops, and he says, uh, oh, hey, I wasn't aiming at the cop. I was aiming at somebody <laughs> else in the crowd. What is that all about? Yeah, well, it's a lie. And, you know, I was on CNN last night talking about this, and it's just crazy that, uh, it, it, you know, what's interesting, Larry, if this were anything related to the Tea Party movement, how this would be handled would, is just dramatically different. There yeah. are people that have already uh, trying to raise funding for this guy for an attorney. I mean, it's crazy. Wait, uh, wait a legal defense team for this guy uh, who shot two cops? There, there are already people oh. talking about raising money for this guy for his legal defense. I mean, if you wanted to turn the world on its ear in a Hollywood movie, you couldn't do it any, any more than what's happened here, where this, you know, a cop doing his job loses his job, the police chief loses his job, who's had nothing to do with it, city manager, uh, uh, the, uh, they want to get rid of the mayor. And I, I equate this to wanting to turn this into the second civil rights movement like Selma. And I tell everybody, go look at Selma and, and ask yourself, we just, Barack Obama just stood on the 50th anniversary, on the bridge, the uh, Edmund Pettus Bridge for the 50th anniversary. And what they don't tell you is that place is an armpit. They had to, it took months to clean it up. There's boarded up buildings, rampant unemployment. It's 80% black. 2% of the kids in that, it, that used to be a 50 50 black and white town, only 2% of the kids in the, in the schools are white because they're all going to private schools. Most of the white people have left. That's what they want for Ferguson. Help me understand uh, uh, from your vantage point there in Missouri why it is that this idea hands up don't shoot i mean that became the that became the anthem for many people who were very right. concerned about the, they had the death of michael brown and the actions of darren wilson but the justice department goes in and does a complete investigation they look at the forensics of the matter they talk to every possible witness and they say there were actually only a very few reliable witnesses whose stories held up and and they matched it with the forensic and they said hands up don't shoot did not happen. Blatant lie. So why Blatant does it, why does it continue? Why do we continue to hear so much about you know hands up, don't shoot? Because liberals don't care about that. What they care about is that propaganda will last long after. Ferguson should not even be on the map, guys. Being blunt, uh, first of all, Barack Obama and Holder should have apologized to Darren Wilson, tried to get him his job back. They should be a you know tr they should be lifting Ferguson up as an example because it's a town that's 60-something percent black. And instead, they're, they're painting it with this just very ugly picture because it's actually a beautiful little bedroom community, and I've talked about that before on the program. But what's really disturbing is, and, and I'm going to cover a lot of ground here really quickly, but yeah. the, 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 uh, the, guy, the, the towns around Ferguson are two to three times more egregious in their handling of police matters with blacks than Ferguson, but they all have black mayors or black uh, city council, so he won't do anything about that. The hands up, don't shoot mantra is strictly a leftist backed uh, propaganda, racially motivated, to, to, to sort of bring uh, light to something that doesn't exist. And as I said the other night, uh, when I was on Fox or CNN, they're putting a target on the back of all the law enforcement people in the country. Well, and, and to that end, what is the future now for Ferguson? Because, I mean, the, the, the protests continue. The DOJ report is out. And, and, you know, in the DOJ report, there were some troubling things that, that deserved some attention, whether it uh, raised to the Larry, level of... Larry, yeah, there were t troubling things if you want. Okay, I would ask you, go pull the emails of the city of Atlanta or the Atlanta Police Department and tell me you, you know, there's hardly a person among us who hasn't gotten some stupid email or even made a stupid email you know, propagated something that maybe you thought was funny, but somebody else would have taken bad. We've gotten to this point in political correctness where, you know, we, we can blow up anything we want. And what they've done is they've targeted Ferguson. There was not a single complaint. There are nine jurisdictions right now in Missouri under, uh, that are being sued by the Attorney General, uh, Coster, for doing exactly what they claim Ferguson's doing, and, but Ferguson's not on that list. So locally, we know who's doing the stuff, you know, who's stopping blacks and who's arresting them, you know, erroneously and all that. And it's, it's other black jurisdictions. 
they are, uh, as I said, collecting two to three times the amount of money from Ferguson in jurisdictions who are 80 to 95 percent black, run by blacks, and you haven't heard a word. I'm the only guy screaming about this on TV. So you have this very heavy-handed, uh, racially motivated DOJ that's going to make an, 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 you know, a, a, a scapegoat of Ferguson just because. That's the reason. It's just because. And so now you've got people uh, around this movement shooting cops. They know this is where it came from. I pulled this guy's emails, I mean his uh, Facebook page post. He was brewing up. He, you should, if, I'll, I'll post it later today. You should see what was already on his brain leading yeah, up to this okay. and where his mind was, was yeah. directly related okay and, and listen kevin i, I don't want to get into it too bad with you or, or if you want to i'm fine with it to say that oh what happened in ferguson is no different than any other police department in the city then to me the response is i'm sorry the response is not to give ferguson a pass it's we got to fix the problem in other cities too because i'm sorry i don't want police officers making comments and jokes like that in emails number one but number two if they do do it i'm sorry a supervisor who's copied on those emails should pull the guy aside and say, hey, that's inappropriate. You're a public oh. official. You're on the taxpayer's dime, and we don't need that. Okay, that would happen in my business, let's make Kevin. Everybody's, let's make everybody's emails open and go do it for everybody else. I'm not de defending that. What The problem we, I have with leftism is it wants to correct everything. It says racism should not exist. Well, good luck with that. You know what? Poverty shouldn't exist. Good luck with getting rid of that. Homophobia shouldn't exist. Good luck for getting rid of that. Nothing is going to disappear. All right, so, but I don't think it's too much to ask a police officer when he's on the job to not let his racism permeate his job. And, and those emails are work-related emails. Well, you know what? I would love to see the email of Valerie Jarrett, Barack Obama, Eric Holder, or Hillary and a host Clinton, of other maybe. people. Look, <laughs> I, I, I'm not, I'm not, ex, I'm not exonerating these guys. People make stupid emails. People say stupid things. Some people say things in the heat of passion. Right now, we could say Donald Sterling is the biggest racist on the planet. I will tell you, Donald Sterling could be my daddy because he makes multimillionaires out of young black men. <laughs> so don't, you know, don't try to, you know, we get it so twisted, yeah. and it's because we become so sensitive to this that we can't even take a joke anymore. Larry, you and I have joked about a lot of stuff True. That, that probably, you know, would, wouldn't see the light of day if I didn't know you well. <laughs> yeah. so, so I don't, you know, that's the type of thing that I'm saying. We, you don't know the you, context. You're of right, Kevin, and oh, I get that. And you, you listen, I, we, we've known each other a long time. You know that I'm no champion of political correctness. Right. I do draw the line, though, when you've got a government official who we give the honor and responsibility of carrying a gun and has the, the power of the, the government. I mean, the, talk about big government. There's nothing more big government than a policeman who can take you and use violent force against you and arrest you. I, I, I do hold them to a higher standard okay, I'll hold than, them to than a Kevin higher Jackson standard and well. Larry O'Connor. Yeah, but Larry, look, you know what it is? It's an, insult, it's an insult to the people of Ferguson to say, you got all these racist cops, they're out there shooting water cannons and sicking, Dober, you know, sicking German shepherds on them. No, they aren't, because if they were, that overwhelmingly black town would be smart enough to say, we, this ain't going to be no Selma. You know, that we're smart enough. <laughs> yeah, well, so, and, no, I agree with that. Yeah, and if you're right, and, and the guy that has now been arrested for all this has posted some thoughts about how he hates cops, well, then that's a problem, too. Where's the Justice Department investigation of that's that? Ex that that's, ex that's exactly what I'm saying. But I want to go back to this email thing one more very, time. Very quickly, because we're out we, of time. We don't know the context. Justice Department says Larry, o Larry Connor sends an email to Kevin Jackson. They don't know the context. All they do is say, we saw a racist email. They don't know how well we know each other. They don't know what it was about. That, that's, that for yeah. him, it's just a number. By the way, for the record, I have never sent a racist email yes, to Kevin Jackson. Yes, he has. Three times. <laughs> it's the blacksphere.net. It's on, it's on Hillary's server, by the way. Check him out, yeah. Kevin Jackson. Always Thanks, good Kevin. to have you, man. It's yeah, 845.